What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this or join us on the live streams. On today's video, we're going to be talking about the Elgato HD60S and how to use it to have a dual PC streaming setup. So let's jump right into it. So just to give you guys an idea, this is what my gaming setup looks like. I have my gaming PC here, and that's the streaming PC back there. Now I do have the extra mouse and keyboard, that's to control the streaming PC back there. And then these two here are for the gaming PC. I do have a Razer Naga Trinity, but unfortunately something's wrong with it, so I gotta send it back. So right now we're coming off the bench with the old Razer Naga. Back in the day, this thing's so old. So first thing we're gonna talk about connecting the Elgato. So the left one is USB type C into USB 3.0 right here into the uh, streaming PC. And then the HDMI there is going into the gaming PC HDMI slot right back here. So what that is doing, the HDMI from the gaming PC is going into the Elgato. And then from the Elgato, it's going through the USB here onto the streaming PC to send the signal there. So I do have an HDMI from the streaming PC going to this monitor. That way I can see what's going on. I can control everything from the streaming PC and look at this monitor while I have this computer on. So the reason I have three display ports, I have one of each monitor going into the gaming PC and then I have one HDMI cable going from the streaming PC to the back of this monitor so I can use this monitor to control the stream when I'm streaming and when I'm not streaming, I'm just using these three monitors on my gaming PC. So example, right now I have all the screens on my gaming PC. As you can see, I move this all the way over across wherever I want. Now when I want to go to my streaming PC, I just hit the source tab and I go to HDMI. Now I know it's the same background, but I swear this is a, this is a streaming PC here. It has different icons as you can see here. So I'll put it back to DisplayPort to go back to my gaming PC. Now the way I have this set up, three and four, which let me identify here, this one's one, that one's three and four, and then that one's two. So what three and four means is number four is actually the HDMI. So we have duplicate desktop three and four here so that this monitor right here, which is where my game's gonna be on, is also gonna have the same image on the number four where the HDMI is connected to. So that the Elgato is gonna capture whatever's on this screen right here in the middle. So if you scroll down here and you go to advanced display settings, so you see display four there is the Elgato. So when I'm telling three and four to duplicate, it's actually telling the, so the Elgato is seeing what's on the screen three, which is this one right here. So the reason I have the gaming PC connected with the display port to the monitor so I could get this 144 Hertz, if I were playing the game through the Elgato, I would only get 60 Hertz right there. So I am gonna be streaming in 60 Hertz, but I'll be able to play the game at 144 Hertz and that's what I'll see on my monitor as I'm playing instead of the 60. All right, so next we're gonna move to the audio, which is the fun part and probably what everyone's having a lot of issues with. Now there's different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you the way that I have it set up. All right, so this is how I have all this connected. My microphone, the camera right here, and my headset is all connected to that USB switch right there, 3.0. So all of that's connected there and all I have to do is hit that switch and it'll switch it between my gaming PC and my streaming PC. So all you have to do is connect your USB devices, your peripherals into that and then you're gonna have the output one and two which is on the right side of it. One of them's going to my streaming PC and one of them's going to my gaming PC. All I do is I hit a button there and it switches it from PC to PC. So if I'm ever gaming and I'm not streaming, I'll just have it set up to my gaming PC. Now, if I wanna stream, I'm gonna transfer all that over to the streaming PC. That way we can have an easier time setting up the audio for streaming. 
Now you don't need the USB switch, it's just to make this a lot easier for switching between computers whenever you're not streaming. But if you do just always have it connected to your streaming PC, you're gonna always have to have OBS open because that's where the sound is gonna be coming through. So if you have everything connected to your streaming PC, that's fine, but if you don't have the switch, you're gonna have to manually disconnect if you ever wanna put it back onto your gaming PC if you're not streaming and you don't wanna have both PCs on. Because if it's all connected to your streaming PC, you're gonna always need to have your gaming and streaming PC on, which is fine, but if you don't wanna do that, I'm telling you, you're just gonna have to unplug and plug it in, and that's why I got the switch. So example, here I have the audio on my gaming PC, so I'll play a video from the gaming PC. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the channel. There it is. You enjoy car so now, if I go hit this switch, I go to play this, you don't hear anything. Now I open up OBS on the streaming PC, and I hit play, Video games and, and you hear it all. So now the settings you're gonna need to do this is on your gaming PC, you're gonna wanna make sure that the Elgato is your default device. That way it's sending all the audio to the Elgato. And then on the streaming PC, you're gonna have the playback set to whatever headphones you're using or speakers or whatever. So for my example, I have the Arctis 7. So that's my headphone. I have that selected as the default device. Now this is my communications device because my headphone allows me to control the volume of say Discord while I can control the game volume also. That's why I have two different ones. Some of you may not see this, but that's why I have that. So once you have that set up here, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have your microphone set to default also, which for me is the Yeti. And remember guys, I have it all plugged into my streaming PC with that switch that I have. I mean, you can plug it directly in there, you don't need the switch, but all these peripherals are connected to the streaming PC. Now on OBS, my desktop audio, we're gonna go here, we're gonna go to properties, and I have it set to the headphone, which is gonna be bringing in all the game volume. Now for the microphone, we're gonna go here, go to properties, and I have it on default, but you could also switch it to whatever the microphone is, the Yeti. I'm just gonna leave mine how it is, because it's working, I don't wanna mess with it. Um, and then the headset, uh, this is for Discord. If I have people talking in Discord, I could turn it up or down, but I guess it's not working right now because I don't have the headset plugged in. It's probably because I don't have the headset plugged in, so I do have this one set to, yeah, the, uh, the chat one. So when I am in Discord, you'll see this actually work, but right now I'm not, so. Now the only downfall to this setup, I would say is the in-game chat. If you ever wanna use in-game chat, you won't be able to because your microphone is on the streaming PC and not the gaming PC, so I can't talk to people in Warzone through party chat. I mean, I do use Discord, so it's fine. And I do have Discord on the streaming PC. I use Discord on the streaming PC to talk to people, but, you can hear everyone in game chat, you just can't talk to them because your microphone's set up here. I guess if I wanted to talk to people in chat, I would hook up another microphone to my gaming PC so I can still use it to talk to them while I'm live streaming. But when I'm not live streaming, it's not an issue because I have everything on my gaming PC connected with the USB switch. I just switch it all over so my headphones, my microphone, my camera, everything's on my gaming PC when I'm not streaming and everything's fine and normal. But when I do want to stream, I just hit that switch, the microphone, headphones, camera, everything goes over to the streaming PC, and then these uh, settings kick in automatically. So now in OBS, you're gonna to want to set up Elgato as a video capture device. So I already have mine set up, so I'll show you. Right there's the Elgato. So I'll go ahead, click it, you see how the whole screen is highlighted, that's me right there. Now we're gonna right click it and go to properties right here. And one important step, so you can see there, game capture and device default. But down here, this is important for your audio. You wanna make sure it says output desktop audio wave out. Make sure you have that set up or you might have some audio issues. If you notice it's not working, make sure to select that. Now, another setting I wanna point out is in the Elgato game capture, you see right there, these are the settings I have on it. You wanna make sure your audio input is HDMI audio. And you can copy these settings here. 
Now, if these aren't working, you might want to restart your computer, close out of everything, reopen it, uh, just to make sure that everything's working properly. So that's it guys, it's pretty simple. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And thank you guys, as always. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.